history gives it simplicity and luster to the events that sometimes sets up false expectations of what the present should look like or should be able to achieve. Equally, it's easy to forget what we have already experienced and consigned to memory but fail to realise is not a shared experience. One of my central arguments was that the very source of the public services institutional power in the past was in fact its memory. So if I'm right, working out how to preserve that memory or at least have a functioning way of tapping into it is important. Of course, the significance of memory in the public service is powerfully affected by the role it plays in the national firmament. And that has been under a constant process of change in the past few decades. Some have characterized some of these changes as being ones from service delivery to contract management, Others argue that instead of being a source of policy delivery, the service now is often as much a compiler of policy options from third parties. The descriptions obviously vary, wild, vary wildly depending on what part of the public service you're talking about. The role of memory is also affected by changing relationships with Parliament and with Ministers, with the rise of Ministerial Officers, and something that's talked about, the changing expectations and lines of accountability in the public debate.